not sure how well this is working. Now if I'm talking weird, like, my braces are hurting and stuff, so I can't talk as properly, if that makes any sense. So, like, it hurts, kind of. It's, like, it's cutting. Anyway. And so, I, disclaimer, I am not a psychologist. I am not in any way, shape, or form, like, like, saying this is exactly what's going on and this is like why but I just want to give some insight on what could be happening what I think in my opinion and share a personal story of my own so enjoy the video hey guys it's Maddie and there are a lot of different changes for one I'm standing up for two I have braces so anyway leave a link down below if you want me to talk about my braces experience so far and like how it's been going because i i can make that video if you want me to and have like my insight and stuff if anybody is watching and for three like so the camera is like balanced right on top of an ottoman thing so it's kind of weird because like my tripod isn't tall enough to help me it's not the focus of the video or anything so anyway, I just recently watched Natalia Taylor's video on what happened and Anna Campbell's video and I wanted to talk about a few things because this like got me wanting to say something. A lot of people have been saying how it's really weird how she's been talking and how like she's been saying things like in a monotone voice and like and I agree it's a really deep personality change from most of her usual videos like you can see like she's not usually like that. And while that, I'm not gonna say anything for sure as that could be attributed to like feel to like being tired and sad or something and like just disconnecting from that as that could be a coping mechanism for her. And like that's how she's coping by not thinking about the issue and by like focusing on something else. But also like see you know me personally, if something bad happens, I'll like disconnect like I'll just be sitting there being so sad that you wouldn't know because I'm just like sitting there like oh my god like it doesn't connect to my mind I'm kind of in denial which she could be doing but some other parts in there is like she's doing things that are really heavily influenced that people have pointed out that are like the stuff that her dad has been doing like sending her random things with meetings and stuff and I'm not sure how much she has elaborated on that or like what she meant means and stuff but a lot of it is like is like very similar to what she was doing in that video and you know and while thrifting has been like a normal part of her like some other people have said like she's attributing this like um different type of meanings to the things like the first thing she introduced for example it was really like it was really hard to connect a meaning to that. I saw that and I was like, how could that be like meaningful? Like, where did you get this from? The thing about it is she seemed really, like like I said before, she seemed really like distant and like, it was really drastic too. So while it could be that, it could also be something different because like, I don't know. And the way she talked about her personalities and stuff, it seems like it could be like a personality disorder issue and stuff, like how she was Ashley and then Natalia and stuff. And, but like somebody also said, it could be also attributed to like how her family, close family and friends have treated her as Ashley off camera. But like, I don't know, I feel like this is a little too much, like it's too much to be those kind of things. Like it could also, that could also be part of it. But I think there's a lot that we really don't know what's going on and stuff. And we have to take that into account and like put ourselves in her shoes so that we can figure this out. Because but she did seem very off in the video and that's like it scared me like i feel so bad for her like like she just needs to take a breather and like have help or something because like a lot of parts of the video like has been like matching with people with signs of schizophrenia as i know she was kind of all over the place in her talking and her meanings and her like anthologies if that's how you say it and stuff so i mean there are like some signs that could be showing up where they could be schizophrenia but like we really don't know is the point i mean because that's only one video and it's not like an entire thing although i noticed there has been some build up like from 
from like her first kind of couple few videos and how she's like progressed she's kind of changed a little bit and it's like I don't really know how to explain it but it just it feels really off like how it was and stuff and the thing with Marina Joyce and stuff it's kind of similarities about how how they're speaking it's kind of like all over the place like okay there's here and then here and then we're here and then we're here and well on the Rena spectrum she's really like over out and energetic about it and on Natalia she's kind of like sitting there just like very calm and not calm but like monotone not moving very much and stuff her and Anna are in a really bad place too and stuff so it could be a mild schizophrenic like things coming up but it could also be a personality disorder I don't know you don't know and a lot of people were saying that they got weird vibes and they were just feeling really off and like I agree because like that video was like really off like there was something that like there has to be something going on under the surface and I don't know how to explain it. Now I've watched a lot of like now my my grandma I'm pretty sure she's schizophrenic and stuff because she's she, her mind's been off a lot lately and a lot of things that you can that seem to be common with people who have these disabilities are like how mannerisms and stuff that they are it's like it's like they're very like from one minute to the next and stuff like they like say things a lot that's like okay like how marina for example how marina was going like okay oh, hey, i i love you guys and like i don't like know how this is going had this happened and stuff it's like it's very similar which i've noticed ha can happen a lot with those people like my grandma for one she's she's one of those people like firmly believes that she's related to indians and our great grandpa raging bull and she firmly believes that we could tell her root but she firmly believes that another thing my mother's cousin he died before he was a veterinarian and when we were on that topic having dinner over there she firmly believed that he was alive we told her like no he, he's not alive and she firmly believed it which is another sign of schizophrenia and stuff which Natalia's this is not like by the way like related to Natalia or anything but this is just my experience with schizophrenic people and like my perspective I guess because and while this illness has been affecting her a lot this is not this also has not been a recent thing for her as I remember my my aunt well not my actual aunt but like my honorary aunt she told me that my grandma has always been like this and that one of the wildest things she's heard is that aliens were coming down to the earth to you know do the dirty with her and like that's just an example of how crazy this can be and how much like people who have these mental illnesses need to find help and stability as I hope that they can live with it and like and like while I'm not saying that Marina or Natalia or anybody else are like to that area well, they are showing some small signs of it of possible mental illnesses and what could be going on it's getting really bad and you know she's kind of disassociating like she's had a dream before and she like told us once that it was like okay this happened and this happened and they're trying to steal my money when it didn't happen so she's kind of having a hard time dissociating herself from like the reality and like not the reality and kind of sad because like she she doesn't she's not like with it you know like i notice a lot, again like these people like their eyes they kind of have like that like far away look and stuff if like it's just like a lot of range of emotions over a short period of time it's just you know just the off feeling that's all i can like describe it with it's just feeling off I had tests with and stuff and they can't find any tumor or anything in her brain because she's had skin and so schizophrenia is the most likely thing and like i've watched videos on it and like she's showing like almost all of those signs of schizophrenia so i describe it so and it's kind of crazy too because like I am related to her, which means I could develop it sometime in the future. My mom, she she thankfully has not developed that, although, but it could 
there's a possibility that I could be like that. And so for sure, I don't think I can say or have the authority to say that Natalia is schizophrenic or becoming schizophrenic, but it is really likely and that last video like shows that it could be like more, more prominent. Although she could also have personality thing because with the whole Natalia and Ashley thing, I noticed like it seems very likely that she could have a personality disorder or something because about how Natalia was whole other personality and she was referring to Natalia as in third person as if that's not her anymore and stuff. The thing that I think about it is like, I don't agree that there would be nothing at all wrong and that's just the product of the last few days because it's kind of too extreme. It's just too weird to have like anything to be like normal and it worries me. It really worries me because I really want to Ashley to be okay and I want her to be bad for her for all that's happened with her and Anna and everything and I wish them the best. I really do. But one thing I do know for sure is that bad things, like things that are not okay, like that people need to work on and need help on are like going on and I wish the best in like for these people that help and I'm in no way trying to say that like they're like crazy or anything because like they just have a disease or something and they that's all I don't know if I'm making things better or worse probably worse but yeah another thing that kind of worries me is that one night it's like um Ashley's like old um twitter and stuff and how she was like posting the thing about how her own video wasn't real I'm not sure really what's going on here and stuff Maybe she's like trying to be funny, maybe it's like she was like trying to cope with it or something and like I really do not know how to address that but like a lot of people were saying like overall I think that yes she's could be developing, she could like have these issues and stuff but I don't think it's as bad as people are making it like it's not just one thing and stuff like the things that happened with her and Anna that could have like helped her like jump started, if you will, her mental disabled disabilities and stuff. As like like she could have had it like already coming but it could have helped, you know, if that makes any sense. And because like bad things they take a toll on people and sometimes like if they have a genetic issue or something that can like start coming out then, which may be what's going on with her. All I ask is to not judge and to be nice and like just be nice about the whole thing. Like a lot of people are saying like, oh my god, you're lying and stuff about how like you love Anna and stuff. But honestly, I don't think she was lying. I think she was confused because she didn't know if she loved Anna or not. And like, it's like she wasn't like really like there because she was so used to the other way of things. And I think she did have real, I really do think she had real feeling for her. And she just has, it's just really confusing. This whole thing is just really confusing. There's a lot of stuff we need to work through and a lot of stuff I think that Anna and Ashley need to work through and that like we have to give them time to do that and we can't like be mean about it because we don't really know all of it like Anna was saying in her in her video that we don't really know all of what's going on we can't possibly I mean they can tell us but like that's not the whole story like I could be just repeating things over and over also too and it's just Anna was in a really low point in her life and stuff when this was going on. So that could have also been a contributing for Ashley. Like maybe she felt so bad about that that she just had to like dis disassociate herself from that. And she didn't want to feel that pain. Or like it was kind of like a defense mechanism. And I'm sure Anna knows like all of this kind of thing since she's in a psych ward. So she probably better than any of us has an idea of Ashley's mental state. And we can't really like sit here and be like this is how you are and stuff, although we can speculate and this is my speculation and how I think what could possibly be going on and all that too. And it's just the thing is you don't really know for sure and because that one video, although it does so shines of like some type of mental issues, like a breakdown or something, we don't know for sure if that's what's going on, though like she is showing signs and I feel really bad for her and I'm just rambling right now. But, so.
so anyway that's just my take on it i mean i'm not sure how coherent that is my thoughts kind of all over the place i didn't write a script or anything this is just my thoughts of the recent stuff and i just randomly decided to film so thank you guys best of luck you know all this stuff again